Hi YouTube, my name is Philip Jennings, I'm the General Secretary of Uni Global Union and today our 20 million members in over 150 countries are celebrating a very special day in the global calendar. Today, December the 10th, is International Human Rights Day. This is the day when we celebrate uh, the UN Human Rights Declaration which was adopted 60 years ago. As far as we're concerned at Uni Global Union, this is one of the most important declarations that the United Nations has made in its history. Because what it does is send a message to every citizen on this planet, man, woman, boy, girl, adult, child, is that every one of us have inalienable rights and that all of us should enjoy fundamental freedoms. That we each, everybody, everywhere have human rights which should be respected. As a result of that declaration adopted 60 years ago, a whole range of international instruments have now enshrined those principles into international law. What uh, also pleases us is that today is the 60th anniversary as well of the adoption of the ILO Convention on Freedom of Association. That the world of the trade union rights and the world of human rights are entwined together. And what is not often appreciated and understood is that the UN Human Rights Declaration is directly related to the world of work. The UN Human Rights Declaration talks about having decent work, about having fair re remuneration, that there shouldn't be bonded labour or slave labour. It talks about equal pay for work of equal value. It talks about social protection and social insurance. It talks about pensions and education and, and general health care. But above all, it also says that every one of us on this planet has the right to join a union and to be a member of a trade union so that they can practice their human rights in the workplace. Now, what is also forgotten is that the architect of the U UN Human Rights Declaration was Eleanor Roosevelt, who at that time, in 1947, when the drafting was taking place, was the widow of the great American president, FDR, who was the president of the United States from 1933 to 1945. Therefore, I would like to present to you my feelings about Eleanor, about FDR and Barack Obama and how the discussion has come full circle as we celebrate this 60th anniversary. When FDR became the US president, the US economy was in a very deep depression. There was massive unemployment, but there was a recognition from FDR that we could not leave this just to market forces, that it required intervention. And his intervention informs us today because his reform, the New Deal as we still refer to it, talked about regulating financial markets, about bringing in new institutions to police and supervise financial markets. It was a commitment to full employment, a commitment that the state would invest in infrastructure to fix the bridges and the roads and to ensure that people had energy and electricity and transport and schools. It was also a commitment to fair labour standards and it was also a commitment to trade union rights, i.e. that his government would change the country but they would put institutions in place to ensure that the benefits of their intervention would improve human rights and it would improve the quality of life of all Americans. And, as we know, it brought tremendous success to the US economy and all of this thinking was brought into the discussion on the Human Rights Declaration, which we know was also informed by the tragedy and the destruction of the Second World War. Let's fast forward 60 years today. In one month's time, Barack Obama will become the US President. In the last days, he's announced his new deal for uh, Americans in the 21st century. He's been talking about re-regulating financial markets. He's talking about investing $700 billion in infrastructure. He's talking about creating 2.5 million jobs. He's talking about fixing American health care. Now, what we would like him to do is to take the example of FDR and to also build in that human rights and trade union rights dimension. And that is why Uni Global Union and our affiliates are so uh, vocal in our support of the Employee Free Choice Act in the United States of America. This is going to give American workers a new opportunity to join unions and to be covered by collective bargaining agreements. 
to ensure that the wealth created is distributed in a much fairer fashion. You know, the inequality which Barack Obama faces today in the American economy is of the same dimension that FDR faced in 1933. With all the economic progress that we have seen, with the growth of global companies and multinational companies and so on and so forth, the globalization of trade and finance and technology, the distribution of income in the United States of America is the same today as it was in the age of FDR. So that's why on this Human Rights Day, we're looking to the world's largest economy as it puts its new deal together to ensure that this human rights dimension, that this trade union rights dimension is also apparent. What we will be doing at Uni Global Union in the weeks and months to come in this anniversary of the ILO Convention and the UN Human Rights uh, Declaration is to take our message to governments that do not respect trade union rights and to the business community that doesn't respect trade union rights. What we are saying, let's be informed and enthused by the 60th anniversary for companies to enter global framework agreements with Uni Global Union. We have 30 in place already. We're on our way towards 50. And that will show a clear and public commitment that they, the business community and uni working together will ensure that those basic human rights and trade union rights are respected. That in countries like Zimbabwe, which is facing its own human rights uh, catastrophe, that that government and the government that comes after the discredited Mugabe regime will say, we are going to change Zimbabwe by ensuring that our human rights of Zimbabweans are respected. We want to see the same thing happen in Colombia, in the Philippines, and anywhere in the world where human rights are not respected. Let's make this the year of difference. Let's, be, let's take the example of Barack and the message of hope that he brings, that human rights are there for all of us to enjoy, and that we in Uni Global Union are going to ensure that every worker on this planet has the right to join a trade union, that he has a right to decent work, that he has a right that he and she have a right to collective bargaining and that all of us have a stake in a more equal distribution of the riches that this global economy will continue to produce. Thank you.